final whistle here. It is all over. Ghana looks out now. They are done. They are doomed. They've only had two points. Mozambique have equalized in the last minute here. Mozambique two. Ghana two. And it looks like Ghana's going to be out. Wow. I just can't believe this, bro. I cannot believe this. I mean, they've had the lead. They were leading by two goals to nil in this match and conceded two goals in the last four minutes. It's incredible. Katabo scored in the 90 minutes for Mozambique from a penalty spot. And Mandava scored in from a corner kick in the 94th minute. And Ghana now looks certain to be out because Ivory Coast have three points. Ghana only have two. That means the third, the best third team now is going to be Ivory Coast and not Ghana. And Ghana for sure now, they're going to be out. And the worst thing about it is Egypt is winning against Cape Verde. Egypt is winning and just minutes away, that game is going to wrap soon. And Egypt have just scored now in the last minute. That gives them uh, uh, basically three points in that match. And it puts them above Ghana and uh, finish in the second place in this group. That's incredible. I really, really feel for Ghana, bro. I really, really feel for Ghana, but it looks like Ghana is out, people. Ghana is out. Incredible. I'm going to show you guys quickly in a second the table what it looks like, what it means for Egypt and Ghana. This is just incredible. I cannot believe this. How can they let this go? How can they let this go? I mean, they've been leading this, this whole uh, game uh, up until the 90 minutes and they just let it slip in the last second here. Incredible, unstoppable, unbelievable. Let me just quickly show you guys what, is, what it looks like. Not this one. Alright, this is what it looks like, people. This is what it looks like. Ghana. Two points. Two points. Unbelievable. I think they're going to be out now. They're going to be out now. Cape Verde, six points. Egypt, five points. As things stands, it's not looking good for Ghana. It's just not looking good for Ghana. That is just devastating. 